lot of people I speak to, they're like, oh, I haven't got a tattoo because I don't know what I'll get. That's a good thing. I think you should just take your time. I think that if you can somehow display your story, your journey to where you are uh, at that point in your life. My sister was um, engaged to, or ended up marrying a guy who was a tattoo artist. So I grew up from a really young age, from around kind of 10 years old, viewing individuals getting tattooed. I got a big cross on my back. I mean, the idea originally came from Tupac, who was my favorite rapper. And then I wanted to put angel wings around it. And then at the top it says, Still I Rise. It took like, I think, 10 hours or something like that, just in one go, straight away. And since then, I've loved my back. To the point, you know, you're checking it out. Once you kind of get your first one, you kind of move on to kind of, what, what next can I get? What, what else kind of can I connect with? What else resonates with me? I've got a guardian angel here, I've got the sacred heart of Jesus here, and I've got a, uh, an image of Michelangelo sculpture of uh, Mary holding Jesus from when she came off the cross. So it's, Mary's at the front here, and then you see Jesus. I leave church on a Sunday thinking, wow, I've really like gained my direction, where to go, so church was really my compass, so I, that's why I got the compass. I've got family and faith on my shoulders, and I'm very, very close to my family. And we always get together, almost like a Thanksgiving kind of meal. I grew up for a period of time on an American air base in England, so I grew up uh, experiencing Thanksgiving, so it's, it, I've inherited that part. Lions are just it's the most incredible creatures, I think. They're just ferocious, aggressive. They're, as a passion, they're the leaders of their herd. They are the king of the jungle. I feel like I'm a lion at heart, so I found this really cool image of a lion and it's facing towards my heart. I do have a, a quote across my chest, it's from uh, Marianne Williamson. It starts out, our deepest fears are not inadequate, our deepest fears are that we're powerful beyond measure. It's all about empowerment, it's all about strength, it's all about family and loyalty and just, I guess, your core values. I go out to China, we have a race in Shanghai, and the fans there are amazing. I mean, they're so passionate about what we do. They just follow you around, and they give you gifts, they're just so uh, generous, just beautiful people. And so when I was out there, I was like, I wanted to get a Chinese symbol. And so I chose warrior because I feel that's what I am. And then love beneath it. I've always wanted to have something on my hand. And kind of just, I've got this scar here. It was a racing scar. When I was eight, I got my hand stuck under the go-kart whilst I was driving. And it went through my glove and right down to my tendon and cut through part of my tendon. So I got a rose here. I also have a big rose on my, on my right rib, which is for my auntie. She passed away five years ago from cancer. It's not finished yet. I still got to engrave it with her name. I got the eagle on my neck. The reason I got the eagle is because my best friend from, from when I was 10 years old would call me Eagle Eye because I'd see things really well. I mean, see things from a distance. And I have God is love here. God is just the most important thing, I guess, in my life. There's been a couple that are spare a moment blessed behind my ear. I did that just, I was like, I want to put it somewhere. I don't know where to put it. I was like, how about back here? In those moments, it's really kind of nerve wracking because you don't know how it's going to look. My last one, I just got on my shoulder and it's a, it's a really dedicated to my dad. So my, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without my dad. My dad was uh, just a great father and a great figurehead for me to look up to. From the age of like four, I guess, he would pick me up, throw me in the air as you do with kids. And it was the single most special moment that I would really have with my dad because he's a very, very serious man. He was very, very tough. But in this particular moment, that's when he was the happiest. There was no business, there was no discipline needed. It was just pure love. So I got an image of a clock because it's a real special moment in time. And then him holding me up in the sky. We we're on the stairs to the pearly gates. In terms of what I'm gonna get next, I don't have anything for my mum, who's my favorite person in the world. I've got my dogs, Roscoe and Coco, which I gotta somehow Im embed them on me skin. I've really just taken my time to try to pick specific things that might hopefully mean something to me.